Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Donalds. I'm just gonna do a little update uh, for some bags I'm about to put in the shop. And a few little happy mails I wanted to share with y'all. Um, it's not gonna be a, a regular podcast. Um, I don't know that I'll get to do one this weekend. I have things going on. So um, I'm gonna try to do more videos next week. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but if you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome new subscribers. Welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me and my maker shenanigans. I like to do the sewing things and the yarning things and the DIY things. I do consider this a maker uh, channel. So if you like to make things, you might like it here too. Um, how are y'all been? Um, how's the uh, quarantining going? <laughs> It doesn't bother me too much. I'm out here at the house by myself quite a lot anyway, so uh, it's not much different than my regular routine besides the fact that I don't go to school now. <laughs> um, they did close uh, our schools. I'm in Georgia, so they closed all of the colleges now are closed for the rest of the spring semester, although we're going to be doing, try to do some virtual learning starting April 1st to get us through the rest of the semester as much as we can do um but I will be doing that from my house uh I won't have to drive 45 minutes in the morning which was gonna be kind of nice I gotta admit um the public schools said they were gonna go back on April 7th or was it the 13th I, I imagine they're probably gonna be out for the rest of the this half of the school because um semester whatever they call it at the public schools I think it's something different but um so that means that puts me hopefully we'll have summer semester still at my college uh because that that wouldn't start till what is that end of May early June something like that so that's why I'm gonna be pretty much here for another month or better another couple of months actually that's a yeah it's a long time right y'all just think I can do a lot when I I do a lot when I have to drive back and forth to school just wait and see what I can do when I'm not driving back and forth to school anyway I'm drinking coffee because it's Friday night and I'm that's how I party I've got my I love you more than bacon cup so, uh, otherwise, I'm being he I'm healthy. I'm doing good. My son is visiting. I had to ask him to exit the room because I tried to record with him in here and I could not, couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. It's weird having somebody in here listening to you while you're recording. Um, he actually is in Atlanta. Well, that's where he lives at in Atlanta. We went and picked him up. When did we go pick him up? Tuesday. Yes. Um, we drove all the way to Atlanta from here. No stopping. <laughs> we were trying to limit our stopping. Um, we got to his apartment. He came down. Um, then on the way back, it right before we got out of Atlanta, it proceeded to pour down rain. I'm talking about I could hardly see the road. It's like, that's just what you want when you're in like six lanes of traffic, although the traffic was not near as heavy as it normally is in Atlanta. So thank goodness for that because I was driving like 45 now, 75. And that's with my flashers on because it, you can, it was limited sight distance. So, uh, and shortly after that, we stopped because we had to, had to have potty bait break. We wound up stopping at a Walmart actually because I needed some milk. We're gonna see if they had some things we needed. Things around here are a little limited, uh, which I imagined they would be where we stopped at too, but it wasn't too bad. It was empty spots on the shelf, but not too bad. So we were very careful and washed our hands and didn't touch things. And we had some hand sanitizer in the car and you know extra toilet paper, all kinds of things just in case. So, you know, I, I haven't been anywhere other than that, my husband has been stopping by the 
Dollar General on the way home from work because he's still working because he is a welder and there's not even 10 people that work for his company and they actually work on semi trucks and trailers and things so they actually are needed to do things sometimes to help people with the deliveries of the stuff so uh, I don't imagine he'll be sent home unless they make it they tighten down the screws even more than they are now uh, so what else we're gonna take my son back on Sunday yeah I don't I don't cherish having to go back into Atlanta but he needs to be back because although his school is going to be online, they said probably until, what did they say, maybe May or June? No, because his quarter, he only has one more week and his, his next quarter actually starts because he's on a quarter system at his school. So uh, he needs to be back at his apartment. Even though he won't be going to the school, he, he has his big computer there. And uh, he'll need it to be able to do his schoolwork remotely. So, um, yeah, that's what's been going on with me. I've been enjoying my visit with my son. We've been hanging out. He works on his computer on a project he's working on, and I work on the stuff I got to work on. And we kind of talk sometimes. And then in the evenings, we've been watching a bunch of movies and Netflix, and I've been crocheting and knitting. So. Have y'all watched The Tiger King? Is that right? Yeah. Y'all need to watch it. It's crazy. Completely crazy. If you think your life is upturned right now, you need to watch that. <laughs> you just can't stop watching. It's a train wreck. It's just a, a train wreck. Anyway, I don't want this to be too long. I need to move on, don't I? So, I got some happy mails. I'm going to show y'all a few projects I've worked on and completed. And I'm going to show you some bags that are going in the shop. There'll be more coming. This is what I've got finished right now. And I've got pictures taken of. So I'll be working on that this evening to get them on up in the shop. This is almost empty again. Um, oh. Also. As far as the Etsy sh shop goes. Mini Maker Bag Club. And I have some new watchers and subscribers that have seen other videos with me talking about it. It is sold out for April, okay? There are no more spots available for April um, because I put up the listing March 15th for April. And so the listing for May will go up April 15th. And um, I, in my preview video uh, for the March's, what was coming to March's Club, I said something about PayPal invoicing. So now that is only for the people who started at the very beginning of the club, okay? So the people who started in January, um, I did that for them so that they wouldn't have to worry about trying to get a spot because they're trying to do it for the whole year. Um, because there is a, a, a bag, an extra bag you get at the end if you do all 12 bunts. And um, so if you started later and towards the middle, you wouldn't be able to do that anyway because that's I don't do back orders on the club and uh, but what I can do depending on how many months you're in the club I can discount that bag so um, I had some confusion about they thought if you pay for something through Etsy with PayPal I don't get your PayPal information I don't get any of your credit card card information or anything like that it'll just say paid with Etsy payments or maybe paid with PayPal that's all it tells me so there's no uh, it, you don't automatically get on that invoicing just because you paid with PayPal okay so I just want to make sure nobody else was confused about that um, so also mini maker bag club I thought there was something else I had to tell y'all oh I totally flubbed up and the I February, I printed out a paper that told you all about the stuff in the club, and especially if you hadn't watched the spoiler alert, spoiler alert video. I completely forgot to put that in this month's bags, so if you're missing it, it's because I didn't put it in anybody's bag. I had sealed up about half the bags before I remembered <laughs> that I didn't put that in there. But if you really want that paper, uh, just email me at my email down below, and I will send you a PDF of it, okay? Um, I just completely forgot to put it in there, y'all. 
Uh, and you'll also notice I have two different emails going on down below now. Um, that's because the first email, when I usually have, I have forwarded to the second email because that's my personal email and the one, and just so I would see them coming in, I wouldn't have to check this. But when I have to respond to something in this one, I have to remember to go back to this one to respond. Plus it has very limited storage in it. It's one that came with my blog. So I'm just going to switch to this, my personal, I call it personal email, but I'm just going to switch to my regular email address eventually. And that other one's going to go away because it's, it's becoming a pain to use. I don't like the way it works at all. So, but for now, I'm going to keep both on there. I'm going to be ordering new business cards before too much longer. So, um, I'll have both of them down there. So you can email either one, but you may, you're probably going to get a response from the second one. It will still say T Dottles because it's connected to my YouTube account. Okay. So anything else? I'm going to drink some coffee as if I think anything else. Hmm. I think that's it. I had to update y'all on that stuff. Oh. I'm doing a blog post that's coming out this evening because the maker stash down on my blog uh, that I'm doing it's the next post it'll be my goals for April um, you do have to till the 31st which is actually this coming Tuesday to if you want to share in my T Dolls makers group your um, projects um, so the way that works for this year's challenge you're supposed to share what your goals are for the month and then share your progress on the goals. And then you'll be entered to win a $20 Amazon gift card. So, uh, yeah, you've got till Tuesday to put your stuff in there. And then Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge. You've also got till Tuesday to put uh, something in there. Uh, this month's theme is home decor. Please make sure your entries actually are home decor. Because uh, otherwise they don't count for the prize. Um, that Facebook group is specifically for the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge. And it's specifically for the challenges that Christy from Crochet Creation by Christy and I issue each month. Okay, you're supposed to be using your scraps and one skein, uh, one skeiners. I don't know if that's right, but you know what I mean. Uh. So, that's what your project should be. It should be with scraps or like a single skein of yarn you've got that you're just trying to use for something. Um, and we have a theme or a challenge each month that it revolves around. So, your project should fall within that, that uh, theme, okay? This month was home decor. And typically, we do, we alternate months. So, I'll have a month and Christy has a month. And whoever has the picks the month's theme will also have. Sorry, I'm shaking the, the thing too much. I'm moving too much. We'll also do the prize for that month. So, uh, but this month when I showed what the prize was that I'd picked, Christy also had one of those. So there's two prizes this month, y'all. Um, it's the I don't, I didn't put that in another room, but I put it in a Facebook group and go look at it. Um, so make sure you get your project pictures in there by the 31st, okay? And the next challenge will go out next Thursday, actually. Or this coming Thursday. Oh yeah, is that right? Yeah, the first Thursday of the month. I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to do on the first Tuesday of the month though. Oh, I had originally set that aside to show the, well, that's not the first Tuesday of the month. That's the last Tuesday of the month. Just scrap all that bit I just said. Anyway, let's look at some stuff I got in the mail. Some fun things I got in the mail. Um, I put in an order with Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet. Um, I was watching one of her videos and she makes stitch markers, which I make stitch markers too, but um, I am phasing those out of my Etsy shop, just so y'all know. I think my sale ended. I need to put them back on sale because I can only go, you can only go 30 days. You can't like, whenever I started it, I couldn't put it to the end. Um, those will only be in there until Tuesday, y'all. 
whatever's left. After that, I'm going to be, I won't be doing stitch markers anymore. I will be doing uh, maker charms that go on zippers when I make my bags. And the, the charm or stitch mark, can't talk. The charms or stitch markers that go in the mini maker bag club. So, but anyway, she showed some uh, stitch markers. And y'all, I'm trying to catch up on my YouTube videos. So this was probably several weeks ago, this video. And uh, I was like, oh, I need to go see if she still has those because they had unicorns and pegasus. Pegasus is on them. Anyway, I had to have them. So here they are. They have the numbers. That, that was totally backwards. Y'all, why don't I not remember that I need a piece of paper or something? That's not going to work. It needs to be a blank piece of paper. This is not blank, but if I turn it over, it's blank. There we go. Look, it's actually it's a unicorn with wings. But there's some different ones. There's, y'all, this is not working. There's the unicorn with wings, the big ones. There's like three big ones. And then there's some smaller, like with the wing. Please focus. Oh. Anyway, these have the numbers on it. So you can put them on your project and know what uh, hook size you had been using. Because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I borrow a hook from another project. Usually because I'm too lazy to go get another hook. Because I have I have at least two hooks in each size, y'all. So anyway, this way you remember what hook you're using. So I got that set. And I got this set, which is it has the I'm not doing a good job of this. It has the pink ribbons, and this one has the letter size on it. And it says Hope on it. And I got these because uh, my mother had breast cancer, so I got those because of that. And then, if for 50 extra cents, you could get um, these pins, which are really cool. I got this one that says Yarn Love, and this one that says Hooker. Oh, no, that's backwards. Or is it? Anyway, there it is. <laughs> so I got on my shirt today that says hooked. Yeah. But then, Amber, she sent me this cute little, it's like a little notepad. Look at it. How cute is it? And she wrote this sweet little note inside. And, uh, thank you very much for that, Amber. I'm a fan of you also. That's how I found your stitch marker because I was watching your video. But you made me these special little stitch markers. Look. It says tea dottles. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like that very much. I'm tempted to wear them as earrings. Because <laughs> they do have the lever back on them. So. Yeah, thank you very much, Amber. I really super appreciate that. That was a nice little surprise um, in there to have it say say my name, my 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 brand name, whatever you want to call it, T Dottles. So I will be putting those pins on one of my bags. I actually have a bag that I tend to put all my pins on. I don't know why I put them all on that one bag, but I do. And I will be adding these to my stitch marker collection. Now, when I was a kid, I used to have a huge collection of unicorns, like ceramic unicorns and glass unicorns and different sizes and shapes and stuff. My dad was a truck driver and he used to bring home, uh, he used to bring them home when he would find them in different places. So they were super awesome, but, uh, Unfortunately, my brother broke most of them, but that's another, that's, that's not a story for today. Anyway, 
Uh, so that was some heavy mail I got today, and I really love it. Uh, and also, so you know, when I did the Mini Maker Back Club this month, it had the Monkey Ranch line from Tula Pink in it. And one of my favorite pin cushion makers, Stortz Market, she showed where she was going to have a, a shop update, and the fabric in the pin cushions was going to be the Tula Pink monkey wrench. I was like, oh, I got to get one of those. So, um, her, I have a couple up there that I collect. She put some, I'll just show you. She puts them in these glass dishes of all kinds of sizes and different, they're like salt cellars or something. But look, I got this one that has banana on it. And if you look at the bottom of this, look at there, that banana centered on the bottom too. It has this really cool pin that has bananas on it. They always come with a really cool pin. It's, it's like a, it's just a push belt. It's a pin. I can't think of the, right, the pin type at this moment for some reason, but um, yeah. So now I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna put a link to Stortz Market down there. There's gonna be probably hardly anything in there, but some, some of these, some fun pins. And I think she's got a couple patterns I want to check out, but you have to follow her on Instagram and you have to wait for these to go up for sale because they sell out. You think my bags sell out quick, quickly? These things sell out lightning fast. So, especially if she has some unusual uh, glass container because she has them all kinds of different ones sometimes. Yeah, if you want one of those, they're going to go really fast. Um, so, but I am a fan of those. They're not, I think I paid $20 for this, y'all. I can't remember, but it's like a collectible for me. So, I, I like them. I have two, one, another one with Tula Pink, and I think both, I think I, all of them I have have Tula Pink fabrics. But they always have cool pin pins and everything. They're really nice little pin cushions. I don't actually use them for pin cushions. I use them for decoration. Anywho, so something else when I got was my next uh, uh, packet of yarn. Um, Lolo did it for the Dumbledore, the quotable Dumbledore Club. Let's get this little sucker out. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these yarns so much. Ooh, it's so green. I gotta figure out what I'll make with all this. Something special. I kind of want to wait till the end of the year to see what all colors I got because it's gonna be enough to make several projects, depending on what I make. But I want to make a big like shawl for sure. But the quote for this month is happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Perfect quote, right? And this is called happiness, this color. I love it so much, y'all. This green is so pretty. It's just an emerald green, but it has the, oh, I just love it. Not been disappointed in any of the yarns I've gotten in this club. Uh, so far. I'm very excited about it. Every time I get it. Oh, and this month we got a this little sample. It's called Rapture. It's like a hand wash soap stuff. I'm looking forward to trying that out. So we had that in there this month. Pretty cool. Now, I'm going to show you some bags. Or should I show you some whips first? Let me show you whips first, and then I'll show you bags. I'll show you the bags at the end. Ha ha! So, I've been working on some things. I actually finished, well, except for putting the nose on. Finished my bunny rabbit. Look, look at him. I'm gonna embroider a nose on him. I debated on not doing it, but I think I just didn't look right without a nose. It's hard to tell completely that it's a bunny without the nose, I think. It's like a velveteen bunny. I made it out of that Mary Maxim velvet, baby velvet yarn. Um, this actually went together really quick. The only thing I don't like is the big gaps in the feet. Both of them did that way, and they look much bigger than the picture. But I did use a different yarn. 
Maybe this will be a screenshot. Hello. So, yeah, and I have it made. I think I'm going to do a gray one because I have some yarn left. But what else I did with that yarn is I actually just made the scarf that the pattern, one of the patterns that came with the kit. Um, so it's like, I haven't weaved in the ends yet, but so it's like this and it meets in the middle. It wouldn't be something I'd wear. Not, it's very soft. It's just not good colors for me to wash me out very much so. Um, but I will put it in my gift bag, my bag of gift given things. Y'all, I have a whole trash bag in there stuff I realized that has things, tails that need to be <laughs> weeded. <laughs> I did a bunch of cleaning last week. Um, I cleaned out my bedroom really good, cleaned up under the bed, vacuumed under the bed. I don't know last time I did that. And cleaned out what I call the yarn room now, but the so my son would have a place to stay when he came. And I was like, good Lord, all of this needs <laughs> the tails woven. Now I'm laughing and I'm shaking this thing. But so I finished that. So I actually I have a pink skein and a gray two gray skeins of this left still. So I think I'll make a gray bunny. Because I it only took one skein to make this bunny. I mean I used absolutely all of it. Except for some little bits. But I think that's what I'll do, and I'll, I don't know, I'll see who wants them. I don't, I just wanted to make it, so, and what else? I have been knitting on my sleeves. I have yet to finish those, though. I'm going to finish that darn sweater, i tell you what. Anyway, so I, I had these, uh, these are those uh, Karen cupcakes that come with a little, the little poof for a hat. And I had started, oh, I got all this yarn bar because I had started the hat pattern that was on there. It had a crochet hat pattern and some of them had a knit. I started knit hat pattern, started the crochet one and I didn't like it. I pulled it out. I got like to the red. So I just don't like this hat. So I started working it in one of my favorite hat patterns, which is from Um Balka Crochet Designs. It is her, is it Chunky Hat? I think it's just called her Chunky Hat, but it's worked in panels. You can kind of see how it has a step here. So you do a panel, then you do the next panel, next panel, and then it's got points at the top that just you just tie together. And what I love about this is it gives it a ribbed look, even though it's crochet. And it is a super stretchy hat when you get done. And you can just adjust however many stitches you want to change the height of it. And however many panels you want to change the width of it. And it's, I just love this hat. So, I'm just going to make this hat. My son, my son had quite the fun. When he saw me pulling this out, he wanted to pull it. So, he had, he quite enjoyed doing that. <laughs> So, those are the things I've been working on. I have worked on my scrap blanket some and stuff. Just, I worked on a bunch of different stuff. So, nothing's really finished enough to show y'all anything else. But, um, so y'all be prepared to see more stuff because I've been doing a lot of stuff. Oh, I finished two of my shirts. They'll be in my blog post this evening, though. So, y'all go check that out. If you're not signed up for my newsletter, there's a link down below. Um, I send it out on Sundays at five and it will have links to everything I do for the week. Uh, all blog posts I've done, videos, it'll have fun links for stuff I've just been looking at on the internet. Uh, so yeah, uh, they're in the other room. So I had two t-shirts. It was on my list of goals for this month. I realized I hadn't done anything on my list of goals for this month. <laughs> I'd done a bunch of other stuff. But I had done those things. I decided, well, I finished at least two shirts. So I say I did something for the goals I set. All right. Now, I'm going to show you these bags real quick. I really need to get done with this. So, um, first off, we got, I had put a drawstring bag. Did it have mini maker bags in this? I don't think I did. 
But I had a drawstring bag in this, but now I've got my, uh, this is my uh, zippered maker bag. I haven't done one of these in the shop in a while, actually. But it comes with the handle. It's fully quilted. And it has this denim bottom. You can see the quilting. It's how it kind of puffs out. It has a zipper, and they always come with a charm. This one says, she believed she could, so she did. I'm going to watch my coffee. I don't want to be putting that in my coffee. So, and these have... They have the pocket, same pocket layer as the drawstring ones, right? And they have the, this has the new uh, needle holder thing in it. You can put the darning needles in these little slots and pointy needles in here. And there's actually a little pouch there. And I've actually moved, because in my drawstring bags, I typically put the, that at the top. I can't do that with the zippered ones because it messes with the zipper working. And so I had been putting it in the side seam on the interior, but I thought that's kind of hard to get to. So I decided to put it under the label, but then I was like, if I put it right in the center, that's where I've got slots for hooks and pencils and stuff, it'll interfere. So I just put it, I moved it, offset it. I talked to my son about this, it was, but I offset it based on this extra thing on the pocket. So. I'm sure y'all pay a huge amount of attention to what's going on inside your bag. So, there you go. Anyway, this will be in the shop. These are $30 because they're quilted and they have a zipper, a handle, and all that good stuff. So, I've got one like that, my zippered maker bag. I have a couple of little pouches in that same print. Uh, they have tags, too, or charms. This, you're not going to be able to see that, but it says... It says runs with scissors and then it has a pair of scissors on the back of it I only had one like that I need to find some more of those it was like a it was actually where I order a lobster class from and charm sometimes she sends me a little baggie with extra stuff in it and it was in there so like, that's a really cool one so I need to get some so I have one this this is a smaller size and then I have a bigger one now this one has I put that on there. It's a blue ribbon. It's a first place ribbon. It's like you can get a first place ribbon for quilting sometimes. And uh, since this is about quilting project lists is what this fabric is. So I have those two different size pouches going in there. And these both have, these all have the same fabric. It's gonna be, there are little scissors printed on there. But it's white on white, so it's really hard to see. It was hard to photograph, too. I don't know that y'all are going to be able to see that. But there are white, little white scissors <laughs> embossed on the white. I also have a tote in that fabric. So it has the same um, denim bottom as the other. And this is a lighter weight kind of denimish. It has a little bit of a stretch to it, this fabric. Um, and it has the full pocket and it does have the needle thing okay because I put the I didn't put a tab on the outside of this and I realized that after I made it uh, but my label is on the D ring so I'm thinking about changing the way I do the tops of these anyway but this one was already cut out this way so I went ahead and finished it I did do double stitching around the top of this one this time I just like the way that looks so um uh, yeah, so there'll be a tote. So I got a tote, two pouches, and a zippered maker bag going up in that print. And that will be it for that print. I have no more of that print unless I, you see it in a pin cushion or something. Um, now, I have several big maker bags coming in that I know y'all are going to love. And I been trying to find some more of these panels because these match the mini maker panels that I just did last shop update but um it's an out of print panel so it's getting harder to find and then it makes it cost more because hmm. uh, certain people when they this is a Cori Dantini fabric it's kind of like a Tula pink fabric when they become out of print they become more valuable so uh, yeah if I find one 
I will get some more, but so I have these will be $22. Normally when I do a panel, I call it my maker bag extra and I could charge the same price as a drawstring maker bag, but I had to add sides to these. You see, there's the girl sitting on top of the yarn. I had to add these strips on each side to make it wide enough. It was just too narrow by the time I did the box bottom. So that's why they're gonna be 22, okay? They do have, so they've got this pretty floral inside. Now they do have the full pockets, but <laughs> I forgot to put my needle pad in there. So these don't have needle pads, which would have made them $22.50. But um, they do have the divided pockets inside. They're the same width, actually, as my maker bags, my drawstring maker bags, but they're much taller. This holds a lot of yarn, y'all. This is a pretty big bag, actually. So I have one with the, the yarn girl on it because and it has the same on the front and the back. I know I did one of these a long while back when I first showed these panels, and I just did the panel on the front and a plain back or a, you know, a printed back. Um, and when I started doing these, I decided just to, because I had several panels, I thought, I'm just going to do it the same on the front and back. And then I realized, oh, I don't have that extra panel because I already, someone, when I was still doing uh, special orders, someone had already bought that. So, uh, I do have one more panel like this. Uh, and I may do a bag, but it won't have it on the front and the back. It'll have something different on the back. But the one in the shop right now is just one with the yarn girl. And... Please don't ask me to reserve them. When I put them in the shop, you'll have to be there waiting because I'm not doing that anymore because it's too much to keep up with, okay? Anyway, and I have, one with the sewing machine lady. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute little fabric? And this one has this fabulous rose fabric in it. I really like it. I went with a solid color for the band and the pocket because it's so, such a busy pattern in there, big pattern. I really liked it though. So, technically, I have two of these. I'm gonna show you this one has floral on it, but somebody, one of these was already on special order from way back yonder. So, this is already spoken for. But I'm not doing special orders anymore. This is back from when I was doing it. Just want to make sure y'all are clear on that. <laughs> and now I have two. I do have two of these. These have the girl standing on the ribbon spool. 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 And like I said, these, this print's on the front and the back. And these have this fun print, which I thought matched really good. It's got the little gal in there. And it's got a bunch of leaves and colors. And there's the pocket. So, yeah. So those are what's going into the shop. And I will, once I get everything done, I will put a thing, usually I send out a thing saying, uh, either I just updated the shop, usually with these I just say a shop update, and that's what's in there, and I'll put it on Instagram, Facebook, and I'll do the thing on YouTube I can do now. So that is what's coming. And then I'm promising y'all bowls. I'm so excited. I just finished this one. So it's only one. It may make it into the shop still, but uh, look. These are those rope bowls. So now see this fabric didn't ca get caught well. But the fabric background was so much similar to this background. It looks like it's got the blue splotches on it, but that's actually a piece of fabric. I'm just going to trim that up. But, um, it turned out really cool the way the fabric blended so well with the the rope. It's just like a little some of those little squares of fabric where I cut out all the squares. That's all it is, and I put it in between the rope. And now it looks like it has the blue splotches on it. And there's the interior. I did this. I stitched this with a um, coral colored shinier polyester thread so it has a sheen to it that it's not really picking up on here 
there's the little yeah, the little loop. Now the only thing that might keep me from putting this in the shop is I forgot a tag. I'm starting to figure out how I'm gonna put a tag on these. Uh, so I thought maybe if I had have done it when I was sewing it, it would do something like this. You know, it, but it would be between the between the the pieces of rope and across from that other little loop I do at the end. What do y'all think? Also, I'm just trying to figure out how I would even get a tag on these otherwise. Because I can't, if I sew over the top of it, you wouldn't see it anymore if I sew it in while I'm sewing the things. So, I don't know. I may figure out something else. But that would be the only thing keeping me from putting this in the shop. Because I forgot to put a tag on it. So, um, but this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the rope bowls. What do y'all think about that? This one turned out really nice and stiff. I'll probably do some different size ones, but this is a nice size. You can hold your yarn if you want to, or whatever you want to hold in it. I just love how that turned out. I haven't decided on pricing for these yet either, but this is what's coming. And pin cushions. I'm going to hold up. So, all right. I think that's it. This went on longer than I intended it to, but, you know, when I get to talking, it's hard to stop sometimes. Um, and I didn't even show you all the fabric I had. I'll just save that for another day. Yeah, I'm going to be talking to you all lots more. Like I said, more time at home. So, eh, that's all right, though. Lots of making time, right? That's the way I'm looking at it. Lots of making time. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all probably won't see this till tomorrow anyway. It's Friday afternoon. I've got to get off of here and do pictures for my blog post, edit pictures for Etsy. And then I don't think I'll even get to edit this this evening. So, probably be in the morning. But anyway, um, y'all remember to have a life lived creatively. And I will see y'all later. <laughs>